This video quickly introduces how to calculate definite integrals computationally and therefore automatically using a hands-on demo of Python code. In the preceding video in this Machine Learning Foundation series, we worked through this example, which allowed us to calculate by hand using symbolic integration rules to calculate the definite integral of this equation, half x, over the range of one to two, the range of one to two. So that definite integral came out to three quarters, representing that this area that's shaded in here is three quarters of a squared unit. Let's now jump to a hands-on code demo to see how we can do this same computation much more quickly using Python code. Okay, for this hands-on code demo, we're in the subject four Calculus 2 Jupyter Notebook from my Machine Learning Foundation's GitHub repo. And we're in the final segment now. It's called Integrals. So you can open up the table of contents and click down to that third segment. If you haven't run this Jupyter Notebook for a while, you may need to run the preceding cells to get any dependencies into working memory. To do that, you can click on this text here and then go up to runtime and run all cells before, and the notebook will be right where it needs to be. All right, so continuing on, we'll import the quad, standing for quadrature method from the SciPy integrate module. And so quadrature, this is a particular numerical integration technique. So this is a computational technique for solving integrals. And so in the preceding video, when we manually went through solving this integration problem, we did this symbolically. So we used symbolic tricks to get to the right answer. Numerical integration is a different approach that's computational. Uh, you can read about it elsewhere. You can do a Google search and find the Wikipedia article or something like that on how numerical integration works for the purposes of this Machine Learning Foundation series, I decided that that was overly detailed. So it was important for me that you understand how to calculate integrations symbolically and how to apply numerical integration in code. And so that's what we're going to do right now. So as I just showed in the slides and talked about, the solution to this definite integration for this function x over two over the range of one to two that came out to three quarters. So in order to perform this same calculation in code, it's really fast. So we need to define a function. I'm going to call that function g that contains our function x over 2. So very simply, g returns x over 2. And then we pass that function as the first argument into this quad method. We're going to need to import that, aren't we? <laughs> so g is the first argument, the function that we'd like to integrate. And then the remaining arguments are the x values that we would like to integrate over, in this case, 1 and 2. So 1 and 2. And then press play, and that's it. So the first item in this tuple is the result, 0.75 which of course is exactly the same as three quarters. This second item here is an estimate of the error in this numerical integration. So when we used symbolic rules by hand, there's no sense of some kind of error. When we do numerical integration, there could be some error, but in this case, it's a very, very small amount and it typically is. This corresponds to 8.3 times 10 to the negative 15 of error, definitely negligible. And we can be confident that this three-quarter result is accurate. So numeric integration is not only fast, hopefully you also find it quite intuitive and straightforward to use. The next video is an exercise to test your understanding of definite integrals using both the manual symbolic approach we covered earlier and the automated numeric approach we covered just now.